Michael O'Leary is here, and I have to say, much plusher seats than you get in Ryanair. Um, you, first of all, made it your business to really be quite, you know, macho and offensive. Was, that was good for business, wasn't it? I don't think I've ever been macho and offensive, but I've been generating an awful lot of cheap publicity. When you have the lowest fares in Europe, all you need is cheap publicity to persuade people to sell them. I think the piece that was missing from the VT, we've had a fairly minor profit warning this week. The profits this year... two profit warnings. Yeah, but the profits this year will be down by 10%. So instead of making... Shares years, of halved in value. Yeah, actually, they're up year to date. Instead of us making 600 and 570 million quid this year, we make more a half a billion. And the reason the profit warning, the good news is, Prices are down. The bad news the is country. your shareholders it's didn't like the lack of customer service and they didn't like the image that the airline was projecting and they thought that was potentially and indeed bad for business now. And you're about to take 150 Boeings. I mean, oh, I you need to get better. We have, absolutely. And we can always improve, but we're going to improve at a time when we're lowering the cost of air travel all over Europe. We have 81 million people. 81 million it's not people. Enough. Of course it's enough. I'm the highest, one of the highest load prices. 81 million people choose to fly with us every year. Couple, we'll of your, them. couple of your utterances. What part of no fun, no refund do you not understand? And the macho stuff like free blow jobs in business class. Is that the kind of way you should be talking? I think, you know, I was younger then and you say silly not things. Much. Oh, I'm much younger. That, the German press conference is nearly 10 years old. You learn as you go, as you get older, you mature like a fine wine, but our prices keep going down, which is why actually in last Friday we reported a 6% growth in October traffic and our load factors are yes, up 1%. but it's not enough. I just want to explain. It is enough. You spoke to the shareholders. Yeah. And I think this is the perfect, the right quote. I'm just mm. to correct me if I'm wrong, of course. Mm. Um, Never, Kirsty, surely. Um, I am very happy to take the blame or responsibility if we have a macho or abrupt culture. Some of that may well be down to my own personal character deformities. What are your character deformities? I'm somewhat m much misunderstood. I think Ryanair oh, has transferred. Oh, it's not your fault. Of course it's my fault. If there's any problems with a Ryanair service, it's my fault. But I think, you know, we've but got... But your character deformities, that's quite an interesting expression. I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you say in a kind of a wry and ironic sense in a meeting, you know, doesn't sometimes translate well later on. The fundamental message of Ryanair... So you the don't think you've got a problem with your own uh, attitude? I don't think so, no. I have 81 million people who don't think I have a problem but with you, my attitude. But do you have people that are flying... I mean, I would hesitate to say that everybody thinks that they get good service on Ryanair because people actually often and use Ryanair because there's no other service to the place. Oh, that rubbish. in itself, in of all, course, look, is a business offering. We have about offering. 20% of our, 20 of our routes, Kirsty, we have no competitor. 80% of our routes, we have a competitor. Everybody has a choice. Okay. Everybody has a choice. 81 million people. To put that in some context, British Airways carries less than 30 million passengers. Okay. I carry more than two and a half times British Airways traffic. I save those people in one year more than 3 billion over the fares charged by EasyJet. Well, we'll, ta we'll talk about fares over the later. Fares but charged by British. You can't talk about fares later. Yes, we will talk, talk about, about fares about later. No, we'll talk about something That's else. That's why now. people choose Ryanair. No. We deliver low fares and great service. Tell me, your attitude to women. My what? Yes. Two adverts pulled in 2012. I think uh, scantily clad women with uh, red hot fears and crew. And then, you know, let's look at this image of the bikini clad woman in a jet engine. Do you really think that's appropriate for an airline? Do you think that's the way to attract people to your airline? I think there's many ways of attracting people to our airline. We do lots of different ads. I'm not responsible for all the ads that go out there. But if we ah, put but you're responsible for the look, tone of the company. Yes, I am responsible. And do you think the that's the, the right the tone? Oh no, because look, no, I think the tone, well, yes, the tone of the company. Yes is, or no? The tone of the company is we offer you lower fares than any other airline. And women in bikinis. You, Women in bikinis is part of the travel industry. I don't know of almost no airline and no travel okay, company. Not, let's say these are not 15 pictures. store women in bikinis, are there? They're kind of this old idea that you're, you're selling in something In many here. cases, actually, it's not a sales. What we use, we use price to sell our tickets. What we're promoting is a charity calendar that over the last six years has raised more than 700,000 euros for charity. And this year will raise more than 100,000 euros for the UK Teenage Cancer Trust. And it's a voluntary effort by our cabin but the crew. Point is, Nobody you, criticizes you. the calendar girls of the Country Women's Association when they strip naked. But if our calendar girl, if our cabin crew, produce a charity can that raises more than 100,000 for charity, you said condemn it as somehow that's our attitude to women. Well, it but is. it is, it is. Our attitude it's to nothing, our no, customers no, 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 is to it, offer them lower fares than any other airline the add -ons. and a great okay, service. The, the add-ons add are all optional. You 
you avoid them. The, the purpose you of you have to use a card to actually book, and you have to pay to use the card to you book. You don't. Your With airlines. a debit card, it's free. You have to pay for fifteen pounds for every kilo of luggage that uh, is over In the week. excess. You, yes. You have to but pay if your, your clothes are sticking out the plastic. No, you don't. Yes, That's you a do. myth. No, oh, you don't. I have been in a Ryanair queue watching people being turned away and told to put stuff on the hold. Look, I, we I have policies here that actually say if you charge <laughs> excess baggage, all the airlines charge for excess baggage. Well, so what's changing then? If you say that what's you're actually changing, changing the culture, it doesn't mean you want to change anything. We have anything. some things that unnecessarily pee some of our customers off. The uh, free seating is changing, it's gone. No, wait, the wait, recapture wait, wait, wait. on the website is gone. Clear. Let's be quite clear. When you say free seating, as in the run for the plane, it's gone. But you are, are you going to charge for people to actually have their seat numbers? You will have the option of paying for to select your seat or you have the option of having a seat allocated to you for free. It will be your choice. In all cases with our charges, they are optional. And yet, you know, we tend to sometimes get hit over the head for charges that actually are paid by less than 0.1 of 1% of our passengers. So what about not point, printing your boarding pass? 99.9% .9 of our passengers have never not printed their boarding pass. Okay. The but reason for not printing the boarding euros pass. for not printing a boarding pass. Some poor person forgets to print their boarding pass. They don't or forget, doesn't have a smartphone. Kirsty, look, you agree at the time of booking, you'll, print, you'll check in online. We send you an, an email seven days before yeah. departure. We send you another email reminder two days before departure. We send you a text SMS the day before. But if you still show up, Without so your sounds, boarding card. It's interesting card. because you're, just, you're making this huge defence at the moment, having already admitted to Did your not. shareholders that there is a problem with your attitude. But you seem to have said there's a problem with your attitude there and then you just went away and crossed your fingers behind your back and said, it'll all be OK. They're, Rubbish. You, well, One, you weren't at the shareholder meeting. What, what were we're you doing? doing, we've announced a series of customer service improvements, which includes removing the things yes. that irritate our customers most. The recapture on the website, the free seating, the rush for the plane, not allowing ladies to carry a small handbag on board, they've all changed. We are meaningfully changing the way we serve our customers. Okay, that's the, that's the first thing. While still lowering the cost of air travel that's and saving thing. our customers billions each year. Okay. Not millions, let's, billions. Let's turn to another aspect uh, where there's been concerns over Ryanair. In a dispatches programme, a number of pilots who took part in a survey, two-thirds, said that they were the culture was not one of being happy or able to come forward and report problems and concerns they had over safety. That you that there wasn't a climate of, of safety and whistleblowing, if you like, in Ryanair. And that really does come down to the way that you lead the airline. Absolute rubbish. The, uh, the safety authorities of Ireland issued a statement the following day saying we have no concerns over Ryanair safety. There is an absolute and confidential safety reporting system both through the airline and through the safety authorities and that the dispatches programme was based yeah. on false and misleading information. You have created and built a successful airline, but maybe your ear is Europe's over. favourite airline. Well, but what if it isn't Europe's favourite? What if the shareholders still remain unhappy with your own performance? Will you leave? Would you I leave? will continue to lead the company until the majority of the shareholders ask me to leave. Michael, thank, you, you, very, thank okay. you very much indeed. Thanks, Kirsty.